guys, I'm Steph from Hopewell Heights. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about why I finally got a Berkey water filter after putting it off for so long, what I like about it, and why I think it's the best option in regard to preparedness. So we just got our Berkey this past Christmas and all of my friends have Berkeys. I've known about them for a really long time, seen them everywhere, and I knew how great they were, but we have a well. We have well water, and honestly, I, it was just one of those things like, you know, I'm fine with our well water. I kept thinking I would like to have one in the future, but it just wasn't a big priority. However, we did finally get one, and I really do love it. The reason that we got a Berkey after putting it off for so long is to have an option for if our, to filter water for if our power went out. This is something that I think a lot of people don't really think about and definitely are not prepared for, but it's probably one of the most, if not like the most important thing to think about when you're thinking about preparedness. In the event of power outages or natural disasters, you are going to need a water source and then some way to purify that water and make it drinkable. So there are a lot of water purifiers on the market, but what I like about Berkey is it's a gravity fed system. So you can see it sitting, am I pointing to it? Right back there. It's sitting right there on my counter. Let's move a little closer, check it out. There it is. And um, it's totally gravity fed. So it, it's not reliant on electricity. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to charge it, nothing like that. That means it's also portable. So you can take this thing with you. I've actually seen people take it with them on vacation. We've only had it for a few months, so I haven't done that, but that's something you could do. I follow one family on Instagram and they are building on raw land, like starting from scratch. So when they moved out to their land they have nine children, I believe, <laughs> when they moved out to their land, they didn't have running water yet, so they just brought their Berkey and they collected rainwater and that, that was how they got their drinking water and their water for cooking and basically everything they needed to do. So that is the main thing that attracted me to Berkey is it's portable, it's gravity fed, and in the event that we would not have clean running water, I know our Berkey would be able to supply us with all the clean water we need for our daily household needs. The filters inside of a Berkey last forever. You can filter like 6,000 gallons with one set of filters. So in the event of something totally crazy happening, which I hope nothing crazy happens, but you know, you never know. I know that we could filter creek water through this thing for a couple of years if we needed to. All right, so the Berkey is a water filter. So let's talk about what it actually filters out. Let me just show you guys on my phone here. Let's get a little closer. So you can see that the Berkey is going to filter out all of the things you do not want in your drinking water or water you're cooking with or just using for anything in your home. So fluoride, viruses, pathogenic bacteria, heavy metals. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, you can see down here pharmaceuticals. That is a big one there. I've worked in the hospital for like years and years and years and there's a scary amount of drugs in our water supply these days. Um, so you can just see uh, pesticides, herbicides, E. coli. This thing is going to get all of the bad stuff out of your water. But it doesn't remove the things that you do want in your water, like minerals like calcium, magnesium, sodium. So it's going to take everything out that you don't want in there and everything you do want in there, it's going to leave it that way. Now, having said that, if you guys know anything about the condition of our soil these days, you'll know that our water is depleted in minerals anyway. So I do still add magnesium bicarbonate to our water every day, which that's a topic for another day. But anyway, the point is the water that you get out of your Berkey is going to be clean and pure. And all of this data has been third party tested. So I've seen a lot of claims that Berkey has not had their products independently tested, but if you go to their website, you can actually see where they have several times and you can investigate that. And in fact, I encourage you to do that. Go check it all out, investigate, get all of your questions answered because Berkey's are not exactly cheap. And I just always encourage everyone to do their research before making any, any purchase. Now I know a lot of people just buy filtered water by the gallon and many people stock up on that. So their preparedness strategy for having clean water is they just have like a huge stockpile of gallons and gallons of water. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you wanna do, but that takes up a lot of space obviously. And it's a lot more expensive too. Okay, so you can see I just <laughs> looked up gallon of filtered water and one gallon of filtered water is over a dollar. Yeah, like even just Walmart filtered water, which I don't know how much I trust that, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know but um, over a dollar, several dollars sometimes. Whereas the cost per gallon when you filter your water using a Berkey is about two cents. Two cents. 
as opposed to well over a dollar for a gallon. So in the long run, you are definitely saving money. And like I said, in the event of some kind of natural disaster or power outages, then you can actively filter your water. You don't have to worry about some stash that you built up and just be watching your gallons of water and <laughs> waiting for them to run out. You have a gravity fed uh, water filtration system that's going to last for at least a few years while you figure things out. And I would hope that no event that we experience in this country would last that long. But then again, you never know. All right, well, since I mentioned being able to filter creek water through a Berkey, I am just going to take you guys with me down to our creek, get a bucket of water, and I am going to try it and show you guys the results. here at the creek and I've got my bucket so I'm gonna get some water take it back up to the house and filter it through the Berkey to show you guys how amazing this thing is I won't fill this bucket all the way up I have the Royal Royal Berkey so it's the second biggest Berkey and it holds a little over three gallons I know that seems like a lot of water but we I use it every day I fill it up every day, maybe more often, um, but we drink a lot of water. I use a lot of water. So I am definitely glad that I went with the bigger size. Yes, the bigger Berkeys take up more space, but not that much more. And I think if you have a lot of kids and you're home all the time, then it's worth it in the long run not to have to fill it up constantly. All right, I've got some pretty yellow creek water here. Let's take it back up to the house. This creek runs through the middle of our property. Our farm is divided in pretty much in half by a highway, but the, the creek runs through the middle and we come down here all the time. The kids love to swim down here. I would much rather swim in the creek than in a pool any day. But it's also really nice knowing that if we needed a water source, then we have the creek, not only for us, but for the animals too. We actually have, we still have in one of the barns, the old water wagon that John's grandpa and great grandpa used to haul water to all of the livestock because they didn't have running water on the farm for a very long time. It was very late in the game that they got running water and electricity. So, you know, I guess if things ever got really crazy and we needed to, we could break out the old water wagon, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Something that would be a lot more likely to happen is just power outages where I would have to come down here with a couple buckets, grab some creek water, and then go filter them through the Berkey for us to drink at home. This is the view of the house coming up out of the creek, so we're right across the highway. So I've got my bucket of water here. Now before I pour this into my Berkey, I am going to strain it through some cheesecloth into this gallon jar here because there's some sediment and I don't want that sediment going through the filters. So the Berkey's actually two parts. You have the top here, this top basin is where the filters are, and like I said, it's a gravity system, so then the filtered water ends up down in this bottom basin here. To fill your Berkey, you just take this top lid off, and you can actually see the, you can see the filters in there. So I have the Royal Berkey, so I have four of the black carbon filters in here. Now, this is very low maintenance, however, you do need to clean these filters about every six months. And as you can see, it looks like I need to clean the inside of my Berkey, but you know what? We're gonna put her to the test, put this creek water in here and see how it does. So my top chamber is totally empty right now. I'm going to go ahead and put my creek water in. All right, 
I've got a gallon of creek water that I put through the cheesecloth just to catch any sediment. And you can see how cloudy and yellow this creek water looks. So let's put it in the Berkey and see what we get. So the water I put in earlier is finished filtering. I know that because you can hear it. If you listen really closely, you can hear when water's filtering through the top part. So I know it's finished. I'm going to fill up another gallon jar full of filtered Berkey water and put it side by side with our creek water and see how the two compare. There you go, creek water filtered through the Berkey. It is perfectly clear and good to drink. Berkey actually gave me a 10% discount code to share it with you guys, and that is Hopewell Heights 10. I will share that in the description along with the link so you guys can check out everything about Berkey and do all of your research. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to click subscribe and hit the like button before you go. I make new videos on motherhood, homesteading, and life on our farm each week.